Hello everyone and welcome back to the majorly disappointing kitchen. When we last left off, we were attempting to save Sparrow Pit from a very disappointing kitchen life indeed. We need to take out this away guy. Come on. They move really quickly those things. There we go. That one's gone as well. And now this one over here. Is that all of them? I don't want to blow my cover immediately. Oh, that was one more. Where are you? Oh, I was there. Oh well. Now those little tractor things will try to run me over, but we can endure. Super chain gun bullets. That's the way I roll. Oh, hello. We use this as a platform to get higher up. We need one a bit closer. Well, that's good. Hand grenade sorted that lot out. Eh? Yeah, we use little tractors. This is very much like a kitchen. We can even shoot them to keep moving them along. Just like real tractors. We shoot the drivers and then they work more effectively. Well, usually not the driver in question that has been shot, but the other drivers nearby. Has a little morale increasing effect. Well, a temporary one at least. Stop dropping troops. Okay, up we go. 50 health remaining. Okay, we can do this. I need those lollies. Almost had it. I'll do it without sprinting, how's that? No, I said to sprint in it anyway. It's habit. Nose. That didn't work. I should have sprinted. Come on, Sparrow Pit is being destroyed if we don't stop them. Eventually, like, a real important place actually does get attacked, like, for all the residents of Sparrow Pit and all that, I'm sure that your town and city is important, but I'm talking about, like, you know, let's say Washington or something big. Finally, we got over those, like, little clock dials. Alright. Grab the lolly. And get up here. Nope. Mistimed that jump. It's a very thin platform. Very easy to fall off here. It's true platforming epic. Cool, we're on. Now the door's up the top. I'm just going to follow this tractor around and see where it's going. There is a chicken there. I will eat that chicken. I told you I'd eat that chicken, and that's why you should listen to me more. Because I am the man who eats chickens when he says he does. And that's the reason that you should follow me. It's maybe not the best, most convincing political speech, but hey, I've heard worse. And I also eat the apples too. Although I didn't actually need the apples. Finally we exit this room. What a pain of a room, eh? Hey? Have you seen this room? Yes, we are in it. But not anymore. What's down there? Oh, not on the view. Isn't that just fantastic? There is a slight opening though. It, it worked! Oh look, there was a dog. Hello, dog. Hiding there on the ramp. I like the music though. It's very epic. 
Now it's time to do some epic sniping, and those guys just run for cover. Alright, which way are we meant to be going? Up, obviously, but how? We are running out of time. Alright, let's do it. Jump and glide! Is it close enough? Maybe. Ah, I see the problem now. Aha! Now we just have to sit here and shoot this turret while it shoots us. Success! And now move on to the next flying platform. Aha! Ah, I see a little drop there. Ten percent health. Why not? Why not indeed? Another ten percent health. Let's go back to the tallest platform. The tallest tower. Ten percent health. Now let's float over to that door. Very romantic room. Very exciting experience. And we worked it out. Together. That's why I'm glad to have you noble subscribers by my side. For together we are able to overcome challenges such as these. I play the games and you sit there and watch them. And that somehow helps. Okay, we have a wall. And we have an opening. Opening is good. That man looks like a boss. And that does look like bones suspended over something. That man's now shielded up. That doesn't seem to be doing anything. I'll fall down. Is there anything down here? This is the boss room. I can wind myself up. It seems that the dog has been strapped. It's a bit of a, like a bondage scene. Has been strapped to like the top of the volcano using um, spider webs. Oh, no, look, another ship. Hello. We're going to shoot the little knobbly bits off it. And while well, getting shot at, obviously. And it's moving around like a loony thing. One of the few times when homing bullets might actually be appropriate. Ah, oh, you're coming up nice and close. Thank you. That's convenient. I could shoot your knobbly bits off. That's what they call them scientifically. Turrets. Knobbly bits. So we can't actually shoot it at this distance. It's like ridiculous because the bullets take far too long to travel. A, a dummy decoy would not be a bad idea. Oh no, we can if we just let give the bullets some lead. That was a good idea, that dummy decoy. Saves me getting shot at. And I will attempt to finish off the boss this particular stage. We need a donut dummy decoy. More knobbly bits. Homing bullets, let's see if they do make a difference. Homing bullets make a huge difference. Very nice. That's destroyed that particular spaceship. Now we can attack more guards. Oh, there's a rolling boulder. Hello. We'll destroy the rolling boulder because it's usually a good idea. Super chain gun bullets. Helps us dispatch of these common guards. And the man comes out. And he whacks open the volcano. 
grabs the dog and then bounces into space. And then all the whole world disintegrates. No, it's just the end of the level. But it seems that the dog has been captured. So we're now following them in space. Come on down. You're gonna be ours, dog napper. That's what this is. This game is all about interplanetary dog theft. But it is good that we are on the side of justice. And it's getting really challenging. Like, it's really fast. You can see me trying to dodge. Ouch. Oh, here we are. It's gone to their home planet, and we can save the game to level 6. So what we'll do is we'll call it a video, and when we come back, more MDK.